Will it be Mirko or will it be the world? Echo Rebellion, composition-wise, King Rebellion. Perhaps Scotty looks side into the land of dawn. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Bulls will look to try to knock out the Orcas in match number nine through stage day number one. Okay, JP here, forcing Vincent to pop that red tree. Boom, bang! Shaboink. And again, JP now with his HP quite chunked. Again, he, uh, he might be Whoa. forced to recall. Never mind. Sway Low will send JP back home. If it was Ranger Amas from the Indonesian stream, he would yell, This is a disaster. Before the first minute of the game, Rebellion Zion with a kill. Okay, let's see here. First minute already, first kill on the board. Not favoring the side of Echo. And again, considering Borsmeyerman rocking the Purify here, I wonder, I want to see the juggles of crowd control from both teams. The lane is going to be very important here. Like we mentioned, right? It's how JP facilitates the farming of carry. If he falls early on just like that, it does give a lot more space to the side of Rebellion Zion to clear out these waves, to get more pressure on the map, and in turn, to put the carry down early on. Carl TZ opening up some space. Well, the Valley Recruitment as well popped here. Carl TZ though will be able to soak the damage. With the help of JP, he is able to rotate on towards Audi and gives him a smack with the appraisal's wrath. Just a big smack, but Audi TZ will just return back home. Get all his resources reloaded. And in the bottom lane, this is a matchup I'm very interested to see. Cars versus Sanford, two prodigies in their own right. Sanford on the Benedetta is a Terizla, but I think should have a bit of an advantage coming into this turtle fight, but we'll see how they perform, how they play it out. Good delay, Audi though. Good petrifies well. Audi will not survive this one as Carl secures the kill. Cars now is the next agenda. Sanford. It seems like will the damage will be more than enough here. JP looking for the kill. Not enough. Sanford, gold talk. Take a look at the cover. JP now isolated in the front side but with Sanji he's able to escape as Carl now focuses down on the first new in the game beautifully done by Echo sublime neutral objective control through kiting and pulling back with the help of the guiding win and also some good aggressive maneuvers by Sanford to zone and poke Rebellion Zion's members away also a big plus is the fact that Audi TZ was not able mm -hmm. to hit level 4 in that skirmish that wild charge could have been a big big blow to echo yeah unfortunately for the side of rebellion and uh you're you you're intrigued to see cards in sanford and there you go it's in even lane it seems like right up to this point three minutes in Teresa and benedetta are able to just sustain and also clear so that's the most important part and take a look at the economy very even here three minutes in can go either way. The skull lead 100 could be just shifted with a few good minion last hits. That's how close the game is so far. And for Rebellion, they're already looking to pressure up top. Oh, in the back side here, Moai knocked up. Vincent Dow will find the knockup on towards Carl as well. But the damage will be enough to take him down. As Suelo secures the kill. Look at Sanji. Mm, the back side looking for an angle. Good pop there. Good vision provided by Audi to Z. A good response from Rebellion Zion to Echo's very proactive move with that circling eagle. Sanford's been clearing bot and then instantly rotating into the mid lane. I think we've seen this twice already. Mm -hmm. A bit of a funnel, I would say, to Sanford. He has a bit more XP compared to Cars, and this will build up. If Sanford is able to snowball across the map to get a lead, that's usually where Echo are able to find a very, very good comfortable position in the game. Hey. And with this, right, a very good balance from both teams, meaning good aggression coming from Rebellion and Echo. It seems like Echo wants to re-engage. Vincent now caught in that mid lane, and Vincent falls there. Good formation, good coordination by the Orcas. When you enable Sanford, you enable the rest of Echo. He makes it so easy for the rest of the team to follow up, to look for kills, to go for neutral objectives. And he did it again! A good Petrify initiation! Something you wouldn't expect if you were Rebellion Zion or random Benedetta on a Ducati just yelling out, what color is your Ducati? <laughs> well, Aerodel has a Ducati as well, and now Rebellion 
Well, Vincent will calmly secure the purple, even though almost it was a full invade by Echo. Mm, five minutes in, very equal. Benny, though, a little bit in a bit of a pickle there. Audi does not want to show that he's in the top side just yet. You're right. There is another Ducati on the, on the, on the other team. <laughs> exactly. It's a different kind, though. It's like a monster and a Panigale, right? Mm -hmm. In the mid lane, Sanji. Oh my goodness, what a pickoff. Crowd control, petrified. Perfection. Right, Echo with the pickoff kill. This is why Echo has more dynamics to their composition. 5v5 can, but also with the push control that Sanji provides, also can. Also can. <laughs> <laughs> Romelio and Zion now, they need compensation. They need to somehow defend the top lane here as Benny is looking for a hey, hey. key trade perhaps. You no, know, does not find the right opening to really commit on towards its ult. A good 2k gold lead built up. Oh wow! The mid lane again, Sanford now caught. Good initiation by Vincent there as Sanford wasn't able to get out. A big stop from Abelian Zion. With Sanford down, that's a lot less playmaking Echo can do in the next few seconds of the game. But the Circling Eagle still committed down by JP. He jumps in. Vincent misses the knockup, but it seems like now Carl looking for the re-engage. The damage doll will not be enough to take him down just yet. And Echo, they will again shift their focus on towards the lanes and specifically the turtle here that will spawn in five seconds. Take a look at the GOAT. Two levels ahead of Vincent here on wow. this Fredrin. Should still be having a bit of an advantage coming into the next neutral objective battle unless Rebellion are able to look for some chain CC to lock Carl TZ down. Circling Eagle oh, will com be committed on towards Cars. Cars providing vision in that HP of that turtle. Seems like the bar Marksman will not join the fight here from both teams. Good knockup. Vincent caught and the Princess Wrath and JP secures that kill. Cards quite low, petrified, and he will not fall just yet as Echo will secure the turtle and also Vincent. Another brilliant neutral objective secured by Echo through their kiting and through their poking. Sanji just finds a moment, a window to collapse. Oh, they want more. Audi, quite low. Carl Teasy though has no, not enough resources to take him down. And there you go, they will shift their focus on towards the jungles now, Mirko. 3.5k gold lead only with seven kills in the game in total. Carl Teasy absolutely obliterating the Guinevere in the jungle two levels ahead. He's building towards an even bigger XP gap between the two as he collects everything in his jungle for a full clear. Okay, good spot. Oh, good catch as well. He will commit, but not enough damage. Benny, though, will be forced to recall as Rebellion Zion failed to assassinate the Marksman. And they're just chilling right now. JP flying by all around just to get some pressure down. And Sanford just walking up, man, on that Ducati, chilling and grinding. Carl Teasy wants to go for the purple buff, Ghani. Finds a taunt. Cars, though, will delay. Good penalty zone as JP and as well as Carl in trouble. Good knockup. Audi bursts it down with the help of Sanford and Sanji. Now in the mid lane, Benny pops a Purify to escape. And there you go. Enough resources to survive. All that without Sanford's Petri, who has been really good this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The double Petri from Sanji and Sanford has been connecting like crazy. And I go now 4,000 gold lead. That is somehow a very, very big gap considering we have yet to enter the 10th minute of the game. It's a slow roll again. Echo knows how to utilize a gold lead. They can transform a snowball into a death ball. Just as good as the other crazy team so far in this tournament. I would say just as good as homeboys this tournament so far, right? The way that they are able to utilize the early leads to channel it into crazy fights, crazy skirmishes, even objective control. And also with calculations, right? With their own calculation here. Let's see if Rebellion, though. Even though they're behind, it seems like they are taking more bushes here. They are also ready for a fight here. Let's see the opening 
Will they find it, JP? Finding. Face checking there. It seems like the damage will not come through just yet. Rebellion not committing. Take a look at Gadita in the backside looking for an angle. Spotted though. Uh oh. And Rebellion, they shift their focus on towards Sanji who immediately retreats. Now it's a Lord Dance. Carl TZ is just holding it in. Trying to bait the Lord all the way to his side, getting a good reset. Oh, that's a barrier that has failed to reset uh -oh. the Lord. Carl TZ still on it. It's going to be on cooldown, that barrier. Won't be able to reset it next. And Cars needs to go for some poke. Meanwhile, the Astro Echo reveals all four. Sanford down below. Oh, good petrify. Moino fairly low. Audi in the backside as well. JP! JP! Finds the mark and finds the kill. Audi, a late wall charge is Benny. It's just free hitting. He will secure that kill as cars in the no man's land. And he will fall as well as Benny picks up the double. Echo are playing it Avenger-esque. One man jumps in, the rest assemble. And they all go for a superhero landing straight for four members and the Lord. It's a combo together. Man, the coordination, the formation, the timing, perfection. And Echo, they will secure the Lord and take a look at the recalls. It's nothing personal, Swaylo. Nothing personal. It's all business today for Echo as they try to make their way a comeback to the group's top standing. Bruh. Indeed. And Name that hero, Ghani. What is it? It's still Bauman. It That's the change. hero on your screen right now. Oh. Guinevere. Beautifully done, my friend. Vincent. Right? So, again, 10,000 gold lead, 11 minutes in. Lord is up. And with this deficit, Rebellion, can they really save all three facer it? I don't think so. I think they will sacrifice two. Let's see if they go for a big fight here. They should be able to actually defend for a bit longer, Donnie. Knowing they have a Navaria, an Irithel as well. That's a big smack, a big boink from Carl TZ. Exactly, exactly. Now top lane pushing mid, managed by Rebellion's Ion without touching the turret. The top side quite weak here, and there you go. The first turret falls. Lord will be will take care of the bottom lane turret. Oh, Sanji jumps in on towards Vincent, who is still sustainable. Good knockup, but no follow up damage there from the side of a rebellion. Circle Eagle is like good circling oh. Eagle and Petrify as well. Vincent will fall as long side Moi and Echo. They look for the close. What a combo together in unity. The base turrets all falling. God, this might be it. It's too exposed, and Echo will find their first win in a group C. The Blue Bulls will fall short.